Okay, hi. So this video is very, very different for me. I'm going to be doing a like fake tan routine. The reason why I do that, and I'm going to say it very loosely, is because I don't fake tan. The only reason why that is is because I've never ever found the right colour, the right tanning shade for me. And yeah, I've just never really, really gotten along with fake tan. So I wanted to do a little video because I was gifted this gorgeous, gorgeous... Um, fake tan <laughs> from Centro Pay, as you can see. So they sent me like a bunch of stuff. The reason why I wanted to try this out is because I wanted to, you know, put this to the test to see, you know, like for somebody who isn't a pro at fake tanning, who, you know, doesn't fake tan a lot, see if this is worth it and just to see if like it's easy to use, you know, does it smell? You know, all the like basic points that we all look for in a fake tan. I just want to quickly briefly just show you what they sent me. So they did send me a prep and maintain mix. So that is going to be me exfoliating, which is actually what I'm going to be doing now. And then um, a few little bits as well. They sent me the central pay, the self tan purity water, and it is just like a water faced mist. So yeah, I love that. I really cannot actually wait to try it. I also was sent the bronzing mousse here, which cannot wait to try. So I got it in classic. So I don't know if that is. That must be the shade, so which is good because I don't really like going for something that's like really dark, especially for someone with my skin complexion and also because I don't fake tan. I don't want a bit of a shock to the system, you know. And then again, they sent me a really nice mitt, a dual sided velvet mitt just for me to apply the fake tan. As you can see, I'm in like my bikini. I'm really uncomfortable right now, I'm not gonna lie. But first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in the shower, I'm gonna do a bit of prepping you know the exfoliating things moisturizing my hair's a mess as well because i did just have a like sleeping hair mask conditioner thing last night so i need to wash that out so first things first i'm gonna jump in the shower and i'm going to exfoliate moisturize and then i will see you when we've got to apply the tan Hello. Okay, so basically what I've done is I've just exfoliated, which you've probably already seen by now. I mainly focused it on the drier areas of my skin. So that would be like my wrist, my elbows, my ankles, the back of my legs, my knees, my neck, etc. And I just basically exfoliated as much as I can. I don't know if I'm doing the best job, not gonna lie, because I don't normally fake tan. I've also heard once you like exfoliate and moisturize, you should really apply your tan 24 hours was afterwards so that is what i'm gonna do but what i am gonna do for you today is i am going to try the purity face mist here which can we just speak about the packaging i think so aesthetically pleasing stun it stop it That smells so nice. It smells like tropical, literally, tropical scent. So what this is, is this is a bronzing water face mist. And what it's meant to do is, it's just meant to refresh and revive your complexion for a lightweight year-round golden glow with our purest face tan formula yet. With 100% naturally derived DHA and packed with advanced moisturizers. So it sounds good, sounds good. It's infused with uplifting green mandarin water and tropical hibiscus flower extract to help combat the effects Oh, of pollution, environmental aggressors. Result, a healthy and radiant glow that suits all skin tone. That sounds right up my street. It has hyaluronic acid in it as well, so amazing. Moisturizer. I love that. So, I don't even know how I'm going to go about this. How do I go about this? Do I just spray it on my face? Well, it's a tanning water mist. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it on my face and maybe just massage it in. I don't know if that's going to be the best possible way, but we move. We're going to we're gonna have a go. Ready? Wow, that mist is so light, like I generally can't even feel it on my skin. But, uh, oh, it feels nice. Let me try again. Mmm, that is so nice. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like massage it into my skin like that. Oh, do you know what? It feels so nice on the face. It feels really like hydrating and moisturizing, which is so so nice which is quite rare for something that's like tan i don't know if it's like instant but i know with this you don't have to wash off oh my god this is nice i'm doing one more spray is that is that over is that too much oh well i'm going for it i can't get over that smell that's so nice so refreshing 
and honestly i actually can't wait because in the summertime and i think most people are like that we don't like to wear a lot of makeup do we i don't really i like to just wear a bit of concealer a bit of bronzer you're good to go and i think if this is going to bronze up my face really nicely give me that healthy glow which we all want for summer let's be completely honest make your makeup games so much quicker and easier then why bloody not you know so yeah i can't wait to see what that looks like on so again you're not meant to wash this one off you can leave this on so it's going to develop really really nicely and i will see you tomorrow so hopefully my face will be glowing and then tomorrow we're going to apply the tan we're going to see how it goes on and just wish me luck because I don't want to watch this up but fingers crossed it all goes well okay it's now the next day a good morning so as you can see I do have a bit of a glow a bit of like a natural tan on my face I really love it I think with a bit of concealer on and stuff like that I literally just look like I've got a natural glow going on I don't know if you can be able to see but I've just got a bit of like a tan like I've naturally caught the sun the face mist didn't really have a smell to it which was a really really good because obviously it has a bit of tan infused in it and if it's on your face you're more likely to smell it but it didn't it was absolutely fine it didn't feel drying at all which is good because i know with some fake tans you can feel a bit dry but no the face mist was not drying at all obviously it did have oils and it did have that hyaluronic acid in so that is a plus from me and this is going to be my tanning outfit for today i know it's not probably the most practical but I was trying to find the most minimal outfit that I possibly could. So today we are going to be doing the Centropay Self Tan Classic. This is the bronzing mace, which I think I've already shown it to you, but this is what it looks like here. Nice little pump there. And then I'm gonna be using the mitt. What's good about this, it does actually tell you how to do it. If you are new to fake tan, etc., it will give you the steps on what to do. So number one, you prep, which is exfoliate and moisturize your dry areas, hands, feet, ankles, and wrists, which we've already done. We did that yesterday. And then it just says apply. So glide on it using a mitt to ensure no mist patches. And you've got to leave them for eight hours before you shower off. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna get this out. Ooh, this feels really soft, really nice. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a velvety material. Okay, so that's the tan. Yeah. Oh, smells quite nice. It smells like a really nice like body lotion. Hmm, where do we start? Should we just start on the stomach? Okay, let me just stir on the stomach here. I just want to see what the colour is going to look like. Oh, that's actually a really nice colour. It's not like over the top. I like that colour. Feels really smooth on the skin as well. It doesn't feel like really heavy or just, yeah. Oh my God, this is really nice. Okay. Just a comparison if you just put my arm to it and that's my stomach. Cool. I like that. It smells really nice as well. Yeah, so you have to leave this on for eight hours which is fine by me. Um, I'm starting doing this at like about nine o'clock in the morning. So it should all be fully developed by the end of the day, which I am happy with, to be honest. Um, yeah, and I'll do some check-ins with you just to see like how it's been developing and stuff and what it looks like. Just make sure you don't miss anything. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just gonna like do it in circular motions so that you don't get like streaks and stuff, but to be honest, this mitt does claim that you don't get any streaks. It gives a streak-free application, which is good. So we will put that to the test once this is fully developed. Like I said, I am not a pro at fake tanning. Um, so if you see some streaks, if you see some missing areas, then yeah, that's my fault. It's not the tan, it's my fault. It feels really nice. like. I can't explain it, it's just very, very moisturising. So as you can see, this is what it's looking at right now. Really nice, it's really natural. It's like a really nice like olivey tan, which I am obsessed with. Honestly, I love this. I'm a bit nervous about how I'm going to get to the back. Okay, so I have fake tan to my upper half. I really like it. I love the colour so far. Obviously, it's going to develop and it is going to get darker because I need it on for eight hours. I don't know if I'll keep it on for eight hours, just depending on how dark the tan gets. If I'm okay with how dark the tan gets, 
I might just like obviously wash it off. It doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. Once it's like fully dry like on my arm, it feels super, super smooth. Really, really nice. So what I just need to do is I need to do the rest of my legs. I need to try and do my back. Wish me luck. And yeah, and I will check back in just to show you the final product, what it looks like, etc, etc. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Right, this angle isn't great, but I just want to show you the difference here. So this is the tan. This is not the tan. Look at the difference of my legs. They're so nice. They love them. Like... Yeah, I haven't shaved my legs, so don't don't judge. I'm going to do that afterwards. I think that's probably the best possible way. But I like it. So far, no streak. Here it is. All oh, the tanning has been done. Can you see? This is lovely. The colour is stunning. Like, it's not too dark for me. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It's actually very hydrating. I think I've done the hands okay. Maybe. I'm not really sure. The only thing that I couldn't do is I couldn't get all of the back. Oh, look, my tag's hanging out. But I couldn't get all of the back. But that's because I don't have one of those back tanning thing, which is pretty much everybody's problem if they don't have one of those. But I really love this. It doesn't smell. It's like a... It's got like a lotion smell, so if you don't have that horrible fake tan biscuit smell, do you know what I mean? But it does look really, really nice on. I'm really, really impressed with it. Let me just pan you down a little bit so you can see my legs. So this is what my legs look like. You probably can see a bit of hair on there because that's because I haven't shaved them. All I'm going to say is this was very, very easy to use for someone who doesn't fake tan, who isn't a pro at tanning and what has always wanted to tan but been too scared. I would say Centro Pay makes it so easy. You know, the mitt is really nice. Obviously, it's a bit dirty now that I've used it, but the bit mitt is really, really nice because it doesn't seek through inside of the mitt. So your hand's not going to get all fake tanny because... You know, that has happened to me before when I have used fake tan in the past. Um, this is really nice, really soft and buttery and smooth on the body. So A++++ from me. But yeah, loved it. It's not messy at all. It's just very easy to use. And it's very sleek, very stylish. And honestly, I'm so obsessed with this. The smoothness of it, it doesn't provide much streak. This mitt is really good for not providing any streak. So I will be doing some check-ins just to let you know like how it's developing and what it looks like. So at the moment, it is 9.33. I don't know if you can hear it say. So it's 9.33. So I will check in with you, I think, four hours and then four hours again. Or I'll check in every time I see that there's like a dramatic difference or something. Right now, I'm obsessed. I love it. Five stars from me. Let's just see how it looks like later on in the day. Okay, so it's about two hours since I applied the tan. So I finished about 9.30. It's now, as you can see, 11.12. No, 11.21. And this is what it's looking like so far. I will be doing a couple more check-ins along the way. But this is what it's looking like so far. I really love this. It's not sticky at all. But it does have a slight, slight fake tan smell. Like, when I mean it's very, like, undetectable. Very, you can't really notice it much compared to other fake tans that I have tested before or gradual lotions that I've used this is nothing compared to those honestly it's very subtle this is what the tan is looking like and I'm obsessed like I'm so happy I don't think there's any like streaking at the moment I don't think and my brother came round because he needed to collect some passes for me to send to the post office and the first thing he literally said to me was how did you catch a how did you catch the sun so quickly like the sun ain't really been out so that says a lot to me um the fact that it doesn't look like fake tan which is what i love it literally just looks like i've caught the sun okay so it's pretty much been eight hours i mean it is 20 past three so i have one, one more hour to go oh no that's the wrong oh uh, yeah it like i said it is 20 past three so i kind of do have like one more hour to go but i to be honest i'm really happy with this kind of color and i'm kind of done waiting for it to develop now i don't know like obviously i have a bit of makeup on i actually just finished filming a boo boo haul which probably is already on my channel by now so you've probably already seen it but honestly i'm really impressed with the color it's really crazy because it just i don't know like i'm not used to fake tanning so just seeing like my face and body this tan i'm like it's a shock to the system because i've never ever been this tan in my life to be honest but i just feel like i don't know i just feel like i don't need as much makeup on um you know like clothes look better on which is a really weird thing to say to be honest it didn't transfer onto any clothes it hasn't transferred into any of these clothes like also as well it's dried really nicely you can see there's no lines where i've been wearing the shorts and stuff there's no like 
lines with the bandeau top i don't think i'll be able to see i don't really want to flash you my poops but yeah so i am just going to jump in the shower i'm going to wash it all off now and then i'm going to check back in with you literally in the space of like half an hour or something once i'm all dried and like got some fresh clothes on and stuff and just show you the end result of it okay so i've just come out the shower i've just popped on the same clothes and yes i still have makeup on but it's proof like my hair is a little bit wet yeah i just didn't want to wash off my face you know but here is what it looks like so here is the finishing result i do look a bit more tanned i genuinely do think i might need a darker shade actually like the classic although like i looked very tanned a lot of it washed off which a lot of fake tan does wash off in the shower like that's a given regardless of what fake tan you use it has not dried out my skin like my skin feels really smooth i can see i do have a bit of tan on as you can see i am a bit more like darker like my hands have held on to some of the fake tan because if you can see obviously i didn't do a great job at it but if you can see just inside here like how light it is so my hands did hold on a bit of fake tan not a lot um my arms absolutely fine my stomach looks like it did um hold on a bit of fake tan i only did one coat of this maybe i should have done two because i know people do like two to three coats of fake tan i only did one because like i said i am a newbie at fake tanning and i didn't want to mess it up but i can still see that i do look tan obviously i've got makeup on and stuff but my foundation matches my body and this foundation is like three shades too dark for me so the fact that it does meld in i know that i have tanned how much would i rate it i would give it a four and a half out of five it looks like i've caught the sun naturally it doesn't look fake some fake tans can make you look orange this is like a really nice golden like olivey undertone i can't really explain it it's just really nice 100 recommend this and saint Pay, thank you so much because you have definitely converted me into a fake tanner because this is the only tan i'm going to be using i highly recommend checking out their other line well if you haven't already but i'm definitely going to check out other stuff from them because i am blown away the face mist was really nice i woke up really glowy healthy that tan really nice but yeah other than that like honestly i do suggest this and i thank you so much central paper gifting me these items because if it wasn't for you i probably wouldn't have tried fake tanning properly let's be completely honest but anyway that's it for the video that concludes it all for you for me whatever that concludes it all i hope you did like this video it's different i know it did like me and if you did like this video don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up smash that bell so you're notified I hope you stick around and i hope to see you in my next video bye